Hello, my name is John Park and this is the video log number two for the Global Learning Project. Um, the idea of this project is to meet with my uh, foreign exchange student partner and decide on an activity that is important to my culture but something that he doesn't have much exposure to. Um, so when I was debating what we should do, I couldn't really think of group activities that were inclusive to um, two people. But I decided after talking to him that he had really no exposure to um, watching horror films. I guess that's not something that um, is part of his culture, but it's something that's very important to the culture of myself and my friends. So um, before we uh, went to the event, I had some concerns. Mainly, I wasn't sure how he would react or if he was going to be comfortable um, in a public setting with strangers around, getting frightened, I guess. Um, that was really my main concern. Other than that, um, everyone has watched a movie before, so I wasn't too worried about that. Um, so we went and we watched uh, Dr. Sleep. Um, yeah, it was something that he wasn't familiar with, something from the genre that I really like. Um, and so during the event, uh, he handled himself relatively normally, I guess, um, or something that is normal to my culture. Um, he got s scared like everyone else in the movie theater. Um, there was really nothing out of the, out of the ordinary. Um, he seemed to be pretty comfortable throughout the whole event. Um, there's a few times where something really scary would happen and we would just look at each other and kind of laugh, but um, uh, we both had a really good time and I think it was a, a new experience for him, but something that he ended up enjoying, so I'm glad we ended up picking that kind of uh, event. Um, looking back on it as a reflection, I think that my assumptions that he might not be able to handle it were not based on anything. Um, I guess that's just comes from my inner belief that unless you like consistently watch scary movies or are exposed to scary things that it's too much, you won't be able to handle it. Um, completely unbased, I guess. He handled it well, um, maybe even better than I did, but <laughs> that wasn't really the point. So I think this goes back to um, some sort of stereotype threat. Um, maybe he was trying to put on a, a brave face because he knew that I knew he didn't watch scary movies or anything like that, so maybe he was um, trying to hide his reaction so he wouldn't seem strange. Um, that's definitely a possibility, something we touched on in class. Um, so I guess just something that he could have gained from this event uh, culturally important to me is that um, being in an uncomfortable situation isn't always a bad thing. Um, I think it's kind of fun to put yourself out there with other people. Um, whether or not you look silly, getting scared by the movie, um, I think it was a, a nice way to like really connect past surface level. Um, that is only if he was kind of not trying to hold back due to a stereotype threat or something like that. But I thought it was a, a good experience um, meeting with him and doing something like that that was important to uh, my group of friends, my culture, and something that he didn't have a lot of experience with.